What's going on everybody, Cheers Butts here, bringing you another episode of our ultra-modded survival, Survive and Thrive, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, a lot of big changes to show you since the last episode, as I tried to record an episode, but then the audio corrupted, and so I have about half an hour's worth of edit stuff to show you. Most significant of which is something which I'm going to show you over here, believe it or not, somewhere we never really go. If we go out to our little balcony, and then we kind of just look around, oh, hmm. Seems to be a, a hole uh, down here. What is this? Go through and uh, oh, okay. This. This wasn't deliberate. So let me tell you briefly what happened. And I can't get through there. Let me just mine out the doors because I'm lazy. So I was walking through here with the miner's dream in my hand and opened the door and planned on, you know, just fixing everything up. And I, I kind of came into here and was fixing stuff and then came back out here and you know, up here and through this little area I was just, you know, setting all this up. Uh, I was filling this up with oil, actually. I went to right-click the oil bucket there that had the wrong thing in my hand. Right-clicked the miner's dream and blew up a massive hole in the side of the wall. All of the stone, all of this stone was gone. There was no none of this. Like, and the above land had cobblestone everywhere. It all looked... Absolutely horrendous, if I'm being verbally honest. Um, but I've managed to rectify it. Um, as I said in the previous episodes, I kind of wanted somewhere over um, that way to be like the uh, machine rooms area. What I was thinking now is I could have this as like the refinery area, um, and then I could maybe make some kind of like make a door here which links back through. Like maybe I'll put one in just like this um, with like steps going down or something along those lines I have like a, a doorway here leading into this room like and then I could have like I've got a little tech bit back here and then dedicate this room to a mod of some sort maybe have like Thorncraft back here or something just I like I kind of like having this big area it was completely unintentional but now I've got it I kind of like the look of it because I, I mean I did add all this roof and everything to it so but yeah the main purpose of this episode, guys, was to go and rob the king, which is what I'm going to do, which is why, as you can see, I've got myself a little bit geared up for any mobs that I might encounter, because the first thing we're going to do on this agenda board is visit some amrooms. I don't know which ones I'm going to get to visit today. Let me just turn the volume of that down a bit, because that's very obnoxious. So let's turn that down. And now we've got those there, and then plonk one of those there, just so I can get in and out. Admittedly, it's only working. opening one door at a time, but that'll be fine for the moment. Right, uh, yeah, I also moved all my stuff into here. I think I did that in the missing episode. Um, let me just see if I can make another sign quickly. Ah, I have one in here. Nice. Let me just take that out and put it on here, and then put a sign back above this door, which will say... Nope, not equals that. Let me just go back to the top. And then, there we go. Machine rooms. Nice. Right, guys, I think the first step on our quest is going to have to be the hunt to find an ant. Um, oh, this system, I'll talk you through it briefly. Um, I had the big pile of oil here. I've now got a pump which takes the oil from my big uh, collection of oil there, pumps it through these gold pipes, um, directly into this thing, which then is had uh, has a combustion engine work on it to convert this oil into this fuel. Um, we've got it set up so that basically we don't have to constantly add new oil and worry about it. Basically, it's just going to set up on a process. This is completely. Um, I think it will be eventually self-sustaining because I was thinking of setting up a redstone pump to pump it out of here and back into there, but that would be pretty pointless because eventually I just have a completely full this doing absolutely nothing. So I'm just going to leave it for the moment, and once that fuel has ran out, um, I'll then just top it up again because I mean we're getting a a fairly decent supply. But right, got all the gear in my inventory that I need to be able to go and basically um, rob the king. So I think the first thing I want to do, actually, is see, I think there's a, like, golden apple recipes, other than just golden apple, like, I don't remember whether it was in this mob, there's a diamond apple, 
No, there's no diamond apple in this, but there is just golden apple. Oh, it doesn't even have the OP golden apples, it's just just a regular one with uh, gold. I guess I can make one of those just as a kind of safety measure, because I mean, when we're off to all these ant dimensions, there are some nasty bosses crawling around. So we'll keep a golden apple on us at all times. But yeah, um, I think between episodes I'll do a bit of reading up on maybe like Thorncraft or Ars Magica and see if I can set up some kind of duty thing there. Um, just like the very starts, so like get kind of like an outline. Um, but yeah guys, without much further ado, let's go find ourselves an ant. Now I think there are a couple of ant's nests um, around near the exit of my house actually. Um, I'm fairly certain I saw one. But so let's just go down here. Now the main uh, thing I'm excited for in the ant dimensions is apparently there's loads of ores in the red ant dimension or something. Um, but apparently they're quite challenging to get to. Like there's some kind of monsters in the caves or something. I'm not too sure about the logistics of it. But I'm really excited to see the ore spawn monsters. Because I mean I've got all this ore spawn gear. But no one to test it on you know. And this sword is itching for a fight. Oh another note. Um, you can see my levels have gone back down to fairly low. Oh my god there's so many spawn eggs here. I'm definitely going to come here on the way back. Um, but yeah you can see that my. Ah here we go. Um, my level's gone down because I decided to enchant um, the diamond axe and my chest plate. Chest plate got unbreaking 3, which might seem a bit sucky for a level 30 enchant, but it's not actually that bad because, I mean, it's got super, super protection anyway. So what we really need now is an ant to spawn. Hello, little ante. Here we go, guys, to the brown ant dimension. Dimension numero uno. Oh, loading, loading. Aha! Okay, that's interesting. My other load, um, I already found a god tree, and it seems to have marked the other god tree on this, which is interesting. But I don't want to use that. I don't know even, it might not even align up properly. Um, teleporter. Is, that would be really weird if it's got things over crossing. Yeah, that's really odd. It's it's mixing things between my two my two saves. Let me just I don't know whether I should delete those or or leave them. Does the god tree teleport work? I don't know what's happening right now. Is there a god tree around here? Doesn't look like it, does it? Okay, so they're just completely harmless at the moment. That's good. That's really interesting though that it uh transfers the data files over for each save. What on earth are you? Golden apple cow. Oh, you're the ones which if I kill you drop apples, aren't you? Yeah, oh look at that, I dropped another golden apple. Well, there's a surprise by its name. But it's pretty cool. Shame there aren't any OP apples in this, though. That'd be super useful. Oh, I wonder if, uh, chop chop in this will actually... <laughs> oh my god, imagine if it worked. Because you know we've got tree capitator on. Um, I don't want to... Do I test it? Yeah, I'm going to test it. Oh my god, it's raining wood. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did you see how long that went on for? Oh my days. I wonder how much I can collect. This might actually fill up my inventory. I don't think I'm ever going to need wood ever again, guys. All that time I spent trying to look for normal trees and having to... S right, right, right at the start when I was smelting rubber to try and get jungle wood just so I can get some basic planks for sticks. Just found this. Oh my god, should have done this at the beginning. Look at this, it's everywhere. Oh my god, it's just an explosion. It's absolutely crazy. Are the, these look like the god tree that I spawned, but like smaller versions. Or are they smaller? Actually, having said that, the top of my map hasn't rendered, so there's a slight possibility that these are actually just massive behemoth trees as well, and I just haven't climbed to the top of them. But one thing I really do want to do is I want to go and find that Mr. King fella and show him what's what and tell him that I'm a little thief and I'm going to steal all his goodies. But first, let me take a selfie. Nope, nope, not going to sing that. Um, just being silly there. Right, I think what I'm going to do actually here is to make exploration a little bit more fun, I'm going to transform myself into um, Lord Batigan. That's the name for this bat, I've decided. Lord Batigan. Look at that. Yeah, oh look, there's an iron golem on that tree. 
which implies that it might be the same as the tree back home. Seems to go up quite high. Above the clouds, oh my gosh. Oh, there's loads of them. Oh, never mind, it's just another one of those sky trees. Oh, oh wow. I wonder if they all have uh, blocks at the top. I thought that was just like the uh, the one I found. It was like a, like a trade of like, I give them redstone, they give me emeralds, but apparently it's uh, more to it than that. Apparently they're at the top of all of these. Or well, at least that one. I don't see if one... Oh, hello. Diamond block. I know diamond is actually... Although it's worse than emerald in terms of, like, armour for ore spawn, apparently diamond is used in loads of other mods for, like, building stuff. Like, apparently you can, like, crush end like, diamond dust, which apparently you need, like, heaps and heaps of for some mods. Um, let me just see if I can just press G and just get this to speed load a little bit. What is that? Girlfriend? What? Ow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, is, that, is that someone's actual voice? Wait. Ah. <laughs> it is. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Oh, oh more, more, please. Ow. 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 No, say, say other things. Ow. They must have had such a field day when they were like voicing these guys. Oh my god, this is brilliant. Oh, there's more! Oh, it's, oh, I was hoping for a different noise. Oh, that's slightly disappointing, but oh, I, I, I want to I wanna keep it. <laughs> that sounds really possessive, but... Is there somewhere... I th Let me just look up how to do the girlfriend thing. I don't even know which mob it's... Hang on, did it say all spawn there? Yeah, it's from Orspawn, right? Let me just look up super quickly how we... Do you tame them? Do you make them fall in love? Do you have to do a load of, like, tasks for them? Oh, uh, I hope they're not, like, real girlfriends. We've got to be around them 24-7. Oh, my God. Imagine that. Just the rest of the series was just me constantly at the beck and call of an NPC. That would be a terrible series. Right, I'll be back in two seconds once I've found out how to tame, in inverted commas, these people. Okay. So, I think I need to find some roses. Don't know if it needs to be like the red specifically, although it's actually convenient that some are right here. But I think apparently I need to right click on them with roses. I don't know how many I need, or whether I need to like make them into a bunch or something, or whether it's just right clicking with this in my hand. But let's go test it and see if it works. If it does, it'll be pretty damn cool. I think you can be the one of choice to really four flowers not enough maybe you're too needy you need to go find some more blooming roses now oh ants nests i think i'm actually going to try and collect as many ants nests as i can so that when i need to transport between the dimensions i can just um well, there's a red ant there actually that'd be useful as well um it means like when i need to transport between dimensions i can just kind of just put down whatever nest I want to go to, and then just wait for some to spawn. Instead of having to go roaming. Right, what I really want to do is kill a load of these golden apple cows, because it will save me a lot of gold. And it would be super, super useful as well. So let's just slay up a bunch of you fellas. No offence, men. Nothing personal or anything. It's just that you taste great. So, yep. Glad we got that out of the way. Those ones are shiny. Enchanted golden apple cow. Is there any difference? I really don't understand. Ooh! OP apples do exist! Oh, that's exciting. Okay. Nice. That's that's big, actually. That means when we go into these boss fights, we can just, like, norm an OP apple and be totally fine. Oh, this is going to bring a whole new dynamic. I was planning, like, I'm just wondering, like, the strats I was going to have to do were, like, flying and everything. With an OP app, I'm just going to see if I can jump in and wreck whatever boss I see. Except for Mobzilla, because apparently... Not Mobzilla. Um, well, actually, yeah, I guess Mobzilla as well, but... I guess Mobzilla and the King are uh, somewhat exceptions. I don't think there'll be uh, mobs that I'll just try and jump in and just wreck immediately. As I think I would probably die. Lots of brown ants there. Come on. Right, guys, I think I'm going to cut... Um, until I find some roses. So see if I can 
tame myself a girlfriend. That's a really sad thing to say, isn't it? <laughs> oh well, let's do this. Okay guys, I managed to find some roses. I'm not sure how many we need, but considering I did four last time and she didn't even show any signs of interest, I'm going to try and just collect as many as I can. Actually, I think 20 should probably be plenty. Rhyme not intended. Um, but yeah, let's just fly back roughly the way we came. What is that? It looks like some kind of weird ladybird mixed thing. Ah, there they are. Right. Excuse me, lovely ladies. Could I interest you in a rose? No, you are not wearing enough clothes. Nope. You are well enough clothed. Okay. There we go. Right. Now what do we do? I just make you love me more. Have more flowers. I have no need for these. I have 80 health. Thank you for asking XOXO. <coughs> okay. Wow. This is a really interesting, in a, well, interesting is one word for it, uh, part of Minecraft. I mean, how lonely are people that they need to make themselves NPC girlfriends? That's, ah, oh, it's a sad world. Right, any which way, let's see if we can go and find ourselves a giant, unkillable monster to try and rob. Because that sounds like a good idea. So let's just kind of whiz around a bit. Oh my god, what's happening? Right. Zoom. God tree, please. Please. God tree. La 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 la. I'm just going to use the uh, mini map to see if I can find one. But I might actually just do a cut. Um, yeah, actually, tell you what, guys. I'm going to do a cut here. And once I've found a god tree, I will stand at its far perimeters far away as I can get with it while well, still seeing the tree and then I will resume from there so I'll see you guys in a moment hey guys so I haven't quite managed to find the god tree just yet but I have stumbled across this interesting looking island which I'm not really sure what it is but everything seems to be slimy slimy grass blue slime slimy tree that is that is a horrible noise um, I wonder what you use this for. Is it is it like a block of slime balls? That'd be, oh, that'd be so useful if it is, actually. Oh, it, okay, it's not quite as many as I thought. I thought I was going to have like 45 slime balls there. I was going to say, like, I've got slime balls for days. I guess I'll... Wait, am I getting a jump boost when I'm stood on this? Oh, it's bouncy. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, it's, wait, is that normal gravel? Blue slime dirt. Everything up here is really... Did I just hear a slime? Everything up here is pretty, uh... Pretty odd. But, I'll be honest, it's, uh... Could be useful, so I'll grab a few, and then I'll resume the hunt. So... Right, tell you what, I think that's enough, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this, and then now, anyway, back to the hunt for the god tree. Okay guys, back again, and I know what you're thinking, this doesn't look like a tree. That's because it's not a tree, and I'm not really sure what it is. It looks like a giant homage to the king, but the king's not here. But this place is bloody massive, it's this great big shrine to the fella, and then look at this. I mean, what do I do? Do I do I do it? Do I do it? Do I not do it? Do I do it? Do I not? I'm going to say that I don't do it because I can't kill the king at the moment. And ideally, I've got it the wrong way around. I don't want to have the king and no tree. I want to have the tree and no king. What I want to know, though, is if, like, inside this, it's hollow. Ooh, okay. I was hoping there'd be, like, better ores inside. But if that's hollow inside, maybe there'll be, like, something inside this, maybe? Anyway, I'm just going to take all this quartz because this is going to make this going to be super useful for when I want to build something later on. Might just make a little tunnel going from one underside of it to the other. Um, but yeah, I'm going to definitely waypoint this and delete, I think, the other waypoints um, because of my other save. I can just find it manually. I don't really play the other save um, unless I'm just trying to experiment with stuff. Um, 
But yeah, so I think what I'll do is I'll waypoint this, and then whenever I want to get um, emerald or uh, got mainly gold, or uh, just some diamond blocks, I can uh, come over here. Because, I mean, look how much gold there is. That is crazy. So yeah, right, let's go P and waypoints, and then actually just new waypoint shrine to the king. Which is crazy. Let's make that baby blue. Okay. Done. There we go. Nice. That's pretty cool looking there, isn't it? You know what? Actually, I haven't checked on the roof yet. No, wrong button. Um, so let me just jump into bat form super quick and then see if it's got anything up top. Also, what are these torches? They look really cool. Crystal torches. Oh, no, I'm not going to get those for a while. I think those are from the termite dimension or something. Let me just get that out of my inventory in case I accidentally click it. Because that will be the last thing I want to do. Look at this just little lone cow chilling on the roof. He's like, yep, my house. MTB Cribs, welcome. Hello, Mr. Cow. And goodbye. Right, anyway, guys, hopefully this will be the last cut before we finally find that ever um, eluding god tree. So I'll see you hopefully in just a second.